In the age where countries are competing to send high-tech satellites into space for spying on their enemies, China is sending balloons, a technology used in the 1940s and 50s. Well, at the first instance, it looks cheap and outdated. But the spy balloons sent by the Chinese are actually a high-tech piece of equipment and the use of the balloons itself was a brilliant strategy executed by the Chinese. In this video, we will discuss all aspects of the Chinese spy balloons and its unbelievable capabilities it possesses. But first, some history. The US used spy balloons in the 1940s and 1950s to spy on the Soviet Union. These balloons captured pictures of sensitive areas using a high resolution camera. But it was soon realized how slow and clumsy these balloons were. The spy balloons were replaced by the U-2 spy planes, which flew at an altitude of 70,000 feet. The U-2 was initially a success, but was later detected and shot down. Then spying moved to space. Both the US and the USSR launched hundreds of spy satellites to spy on each other. So what is that a spy satellite cannot capture that the Chinese are using the spy balloons? Firstly, the US satellite spied on every part of China using its vast array of spy satellites. So if the Chinese launch any satellites, it would be easily known. So launching a balloon is much quieter. Also, every country in the world sends large balloons for collecting data on weather. And that's what the Chinese did. They launched this spy balloon on the pretense of a normal weather balloon. This balloon was made by a civilian Chinese company named Eaglesman Aviation Science and Technology Group. This fooled the US into thinking the balloon was actually for civilian purpose. The balloon's surveillance capabilities were detailed in the US National Geospatial Intelligence Agency document allegedly leaked to a Discord chat room which the Washington Post had accessed. According to the Washington Post, the US intelligence had codenamed the recent Chinese spy balloon as Killen 23 and two balloons from previous years were codenames Bulga 21 and Akaro 21. These are names of notorious criminals of America. All the Chinese spy balloons are super pressurized helium balloons. Normal weather balloons are low pressure variable volume balloons. In the weather balloon, the volume of air expands and contracts due to the temperature outside and hence the buoyancy of the air alters the altitude of the balloon. This means the balloon's altitude depends on the climatic condition and hence not very stable. On the other hand, the spy balloons are filled to a high pressure giving the balloon a uniform size. The altitude will not change with the outside climatic conditions and hence it gives a better control to the operator. According to the US intelligence, the Chinese spy balloon was 61 meters tall and 45 meters wide and weighed about 1000 kgs or 1 ton. The lower half of the balloon was called the ballonet, which can let in and out surrounding air. The ballonet gives the balloon the ability to change its altitude. The balloon also has propellers and rudders which gives it self-steering capabilities. The balloon carried an underslung payload called the Technology Bay which consists of antennas used for collecting and transmitting signals intelligence. There were 16 solar array panels, which according to the US intelligence, would have generated a humongous 10,000 watts of power. That's 100 times more powerful than the Google Loon balloons. With such huge power output, the balloon carries what is called a synthetic aperture radar, a bulky equipment which is normally carried on planes. This radar device sends pulses of microwaves to create an image. This radar can penetrate clouds, smoke, topsoil, snow and ice and works day and night. On the lower end of the balloon is a high resolution video camera. Before shooting down the spy balloon, the US sent its high altitude spy plane, the U-2, to observe the balloon in flight with all its parts working. The U-2 also took some pictures of the balloons while on flight. According to the US intelligence, some of the Chinese spy balloons had gimbal camera sensors a set which also carries the IR camera. The IR camera gives the balloons the capability to spy day and night, irrespective of the weather. The spy balloons fly at an altitude of 60,000 feet. This is the altitude the spy planes fly. The Chinese have sent spy balloons into the US three times before, and it was undetected. But how? In spite of being so big, the spy balloons are non-metallic and have no sharp edges and hence have a radar cross-section of a small bird. Since it has no engines, it has no IR signatures. 
This complicates the use of anti-aircraft weapons. The Chinese had earlier used the spy balloons to spy on the Nimitz aircraft carrier group. The US had traced the launch of the spy balloons to Hainan province in China. It was then maneuvered through the Pacific Ocean to Alaska, Canada and then it entered the US airspace here in Montana. Montana is a home to the US ICBM missile sites. This is a very sensitive area. The US finally sent its most advanced fighter jet, the F-22 Raptor, which fired an AIM-9X Sidewinder missile. The missile hit the target balloon over Myrtle Beach in South Carolina. The dervice was collected from the Atlantic Ocean by the US Navy. The US intelligence has said that China has been sending its spy balloons for the last three years and has sent it over 40 countries. One of that country is India. But we have yet to hear of any detection and shoot down of the Chinese spy balloon in India yet. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.